Hello, I'm Rodney Hill, product manager here at Atlas Copco. Today I'd like to show you a new battery tool we have called the XTB. This is a transducerized battery tool that's designed for class B fasteners. It has an accuracy of plus or minus seven and a half percent, and it has a lot of other features that I'd like to show you in this tool. One of them is a screen on the back of the tool where we can actually see a readout on what we're doing. The tool will work in standalone with a single program, or it can work in conjunction with the PowerFocus 6000 or PowerFocus 8 platform, along with tools control. Now let me jump into the software here and I'll show you how to set up this tool and do a couple of torques. All right, I've connected my USB cable to the micro USB port on the tool. And now we'll put in the address 169.254.1.1. If you've used any of our other products, that'll seem really familiar. Um, and I connect right up to the web interface on the tool. And this is where we'll start with programming the tool. Okay, so here we can see we have the main menu. And this is a very simple tool. So this is very easy for us to configure. There's two options here. We have our settings menu, which I'll show you around in. What we see in the main screen here is basically some general settings on the tool. We have the serial number, its capabilities, and that information from the tool, the gear ratio, any of that sort of high level information that we need. We can export our settings. We also have a service menu for calibrating and motor tuning the tool. And we have a software menu that you can use for doing software updates to the tool. And that's it, it's that easy to set up. So let's go back and create ourselves a tightening program. So I'll click on the tightening menu. And as I mentioned, you know, there's really only one program we have on the tool itself when it's in standalone. And that's how I'm gonna configure it today. So here we have, I'm gonna rename my program. We'll just call this three NM for three Newton meters. That's what the, my target will be. On my speeds, I will set this to 300 RPMs for my rundown step. My acceleration here means this will accelerate over 150 milliseconds. I could adjust that if I wanted it to go slower or faster to ramp up. I'm just gonna leave it at the default value. And my torque here for the rundown step is one Newton meter. What that means is when I hit that one Newton meter, that's when I'm going to wait here for 50 milliseconds and then go into the final step. Usually we'll run the final step at a lower RPM so that we don't overshoot our torque target. And here I'm running at 50 RPMs. I have a hundred millisecond uh, time here for it to get up to that speed. And I'm gonna change the torque value from 4.6 to three Newton meters. I'm gonna leave my torque limits at auto, but if I wanted to adjust those, I could hit the toggle here, change that to manual and adjust these. But auto limits are fine for me right now. I'll hit apply and I'm ready to go and do some rundowns. All right, so let's run this tool here on a couple of joints. I have a, a six joint pack here. There are two different types of joints. I have three of each. On the left side here, I have a soft joint. And what I mean by soft joint is there's actually a washer stack that compresses when I tighten here. On the other side, I have a hard joint and we'll see it's probably gonna behave a little bit differently. I suspect it'll be really good on the soft joint. If I go to the hard joint, I would probably need to slow the tool down some. But let's try it out and see what we get. So I'll run it here on one of the soft joints and I'm hitting right on. I got 3.03. .03. Try a couple more here, 3.02. The torque's almost exactly where I programmed it to be, 3.01. So really you can't get much closer than that. Now let's try it here on one of the hard joints just to see what happens. I would, like I said, I'd expect to go a little higher. Yeah, I'm hitting five Newton meters when I do this. To do this joint, I would really need to probably slow this tool down quite a bit to actually get closer to three Newton meters. But um, the reaction feels pretty good, even though I'm hitting about four and a half Newton meters on these tightenings. Um, but again, I would probably make some adjustments there to do this a little bit better. So it's that easy to set up and run the XTB tool. I mean, this all took me everything you saw here, less than five minutes to take the tool out, plug into it, set up a program and run it on the fasteners. Hope you found this video interesting. If you need any more information, please contact your Atlas Copco representative and thanks for watching.